This is the clockable wavetable envelope mode on the Distin Mark IV. Um, this is one of those modes I think it's easier to visualise than to demonstrate with sound, so I've hooked the output of the Distin up to the data here so that we can see the output. Um, this is similar to the clockable wavetable LFO in that it's got a clock input which is determining the cycle time of the waveform. Um, but unlike that mode, which being an LFO obviously cycles continuously, this one also has a trigger input to trigger the waveform um, like you would for an envelope generator, say. And at the moment they're getting the same uh, frequency clock pulse just to make this continuous waveform that we can see, but we'll change that in a moment. So if I give it a CV to vary the waveform, this is changing the lookup in the wavetable, and because the wavetable is filled with these envelope shapes that I've created, uh, not the most exciting envelopes, I'll grant you, but just for a demo, you can see the envelope changing in response to the CV. So that's basically it. Uh, if I take out the clock that's setting the envelope time and now it's just re-triggering, I'll change and I change the frequency at which it's being triggered, you can see it now uh, change the scale here so we can zoom out a little bit. you can trigger the envelope independently of the time of the envelope. Now there's also a control on the disting uh, for setting the envelope time as a multiple of the clock rate rather than just being exactly the clock rate, so that lets you change the time as well um, in a fairly useful manner. Um, and of course you don't have to use something that's been drawn to look like a traditional envelope. You can use any of your normal wavetables as an envelope. Uh, let's choose a different one. So that's a wavetable that's designed as an audio waveform, but now we're scanning through the wavetable. But you know, we can use anything we like in this mode. It doesn't have to be an envelope. But the point is that it's a, it's a one-shot trigger from the clock input rather than being a continuous waveform. So that's it, the clockable wavetable envelope.